Turning our attention to the Main Street Lending Program, we invite in to the program Yahoo U Professor Brian Chung. Tell us where we stand with Main Street Lending and the Fed. Well, Adam, Fed Chairman Jerome Powell caught three days of congressional testimony back to back to back this week. And he had a lot of criticism this week, uh, or rather faced a lot of criticism for the central bank's Main Street Lending Program. It's their ambitious effort to help small to medium sized businesses that uh, may have really fallen flat by some measures. But what exactly is the Main Street Lending Program and what is it supposed to do? Well, let's illustrate it with a little example here. And I'll uh, just kind of illustrate the types of lenders, rather, or types of borrowers that the Main Street Lending Program was supposed to target. So this is what we're looking at here. And during the CARES Act, as you'll recall, back in March, uh, there was the Paycheck Protection Program. 500 employees was the threshold, and the Paycheck Protection Program was going to offer them help in the form of a loan that would be forgiven if they could prove that they were keeping their employees on payroll. Let's skip over the medium companies for right now and go to the large companies, right? publicly traded companies, for example, the Fed was able to backstop the corporate debt market and also maintain liquidity in the financial markets, which allowed these companies to either issue bonds or get short term loans at rock bottom rates uh, from private banks. So then what does that leave for the medium companies? That's exactly where the Federal Reserve tried to fill a gap during the creation of this Main Street lending program. So that's exactly what they did. They created this MSLP, and the requirements were that you had to be a company that was based in the U.S., and you also had to have uh, 15,000 or fewer employees. And if you didn't meet that test, then they had a revenue test of 2019 annual revenues of $5 billion or, or less, should be less. <laughs> now, the loans themselves are five years in duration, and they can be between 250000 or up to $300 million in loan amount. That's a pretty wide range there. And the unique feature here is that you don't have to uh, pay the principal back for the first two years. And there's also no interest payments due for the first year, although there is interest as part of this loan. But the most important distinction that I want to highlight here is that these Main Street loans are not forgivable like the PPP is. Either way you cut it or slice it, no matter how you use the money, you will have to pay it back at some point in time. Now, it's important to note that it's not the Fed that's actually doling out these loans. It's actually the nation's banks. And here's how the Fed tries to incentivize the banks to get with the program, the Main Street Lending Program. Uh, they say, OK, you can underwrite the loan, and then the Fed will buy up 95% of the loan, which means the bank that underwrites the loan is only left with 5% of the credit risk. But you still have 5% of skin in the game, which means, in theory, the bank that's doing this Main Street Lending still has to be mindful of the way that they're underwriting it and not giving it nilly-willy to everybody out on Main Street. OK, so this is the structure of the program. What does the uptake look like? Bad, real bad. $1.8 billion of $600 billion of capacity that the Fed says it has under this program has been used in the three months since it opened its doors back in June. This is the most updated uh, data point that we have as of this Wednesday. That's 0.3% of the entire capacity of this program. And what's more interesting is that banks aren't getting involved either. In fact, here's a fact. The largest banks in this country, think Citigroup, Wells Fargo, JP Morgan Chase, not involved with this program at all whatsoever. Now, still, there have been a few loans under this program. And if you do look at those metrics, it does appear like the Main Street Lending Program is serving that medium uh, demographic quite well. So the average principal loan amount is $9.6 million. There were a few high rollers in the program, which means that if you strip them out, the median principal loan amount under this program is just a tick above $4 million. Average interest rate, 3.19%. That's because LIBOR is extremely low. These loans are priced at LIBOR plus 300 basis points. And what's kind of interesting is that about a quarter of the Main Street loans so far, and this data is as of August 31st, because that's as granular as we can get with this, uh, we were actually lent to businesses in Florida, and that lends itself to the efforts of specifically one bank down there, which is the City National Bank of Florida. Again, without the big banks being involved here, these loans are really not being distributed equally across the country. So the question is, the Federal Reserve, this large nation central bank, has set up this program, but it's not getting uptake. So why? Well, first of all, they have an EBITDA test. And without getting too nitty gritty, the idea is that a company needs to have decent cash flow to be eligible and have a meaningful loan under this program. But there are companies operating in very capital intensive industries with 
very tight margins that simply don't qualify or wouldn't get a meaningful loan under this program because they usually rely on what they call asset-based lending. The Fed says it will not do that as part of this program. But then there's the more relatable reason that cheaper loans are just available. I mean, these are still loans at the end of the day, and there are paperwork requirements and other costs that are unique to Main Street that other traditional loans through your existing lender might not have to go through. And the most relatable and reasonable reason behind not having higher uptake is that companies don't want more debt in this environment. If you are a small business or a medium-sized business, you're probably saying the last thing I need right now is more debt. This is why you've heard from the likes of uh, Jerome Powell on Capitol Hill say this week that really what they need is forgivable loans, not necessarily more loans from the Federal Reserve, which cannot be forgiven. We've heard Chairman Powell say time and time again, they have lending powers, not spending powers, which puts the ball back into Congress's court for another round of PPP. But Adam Julie, as we know, the odds of that phase four deal, who knows what that is. So for right now, the Main Street Lending Program is still trying to serve that medium ground, but with just a drop in the bucket of it being used, who knows whether or not this can really be called a successful measure. Hey, investors, Zach Guzman here. Are you interested in learning more about the markets and getting the latest financial news? Well, then click right here to subscribe to our Yahoo Finance YouTube channel. Get the latest up-to-the-minute market analysis, big interviews in the world of finance, and information on how to manage your money every day wherever you are.